Hey everybody, David here, and today I'm going to be telling you guys my top 10 uh, Tom Hanks movies. Uh, Toy Story 4 is coming out this weekend, and uh, look, I'm hearing really good things about Toy Story 4 so far, so it looks like Tom Hanks is going to have uh, a really good career, uh, you know, have a really good filmography, uh, and... Um, He's always had a good career. Uh, that's why I'm not calling this video uh, from worst to best because all these movies I have on my list are uh, really the ones, they're all good to me. I, I don't hate any of them. And there are a couple of other good ones that I wish I had on this list, but I don't. Um, I've seen like, I have a list compiled of like actors, uh, movies that I've seen. And on Tom Hanks, I have at least 30 films that I've seen of his uh, throughout my life. Uh, ones that I remember fondly, ones that I've seen in more recent years, uh, and yeah. So let's get right into this. At number 10 is going to be a weird one. So and I know a lot of people would probably give me a little backlash for this one. Uh, Angels and Demons. That's right. Uh, the sequel to The Da Vinci Code. And I'll let you know now. So maybe the, the backlash will be a little bit more painless. Uh, I, I, I don't have The Da Vinci Code on, on this list. Uh, I think The Da Vinci Code is an okay movie. Uh, I don't hate it, but I actually think Angels and Demons is better. Um, I really do like Tom Hanks a lot more in this one than he was in Da Vinci Code. Um, I felt that the action and the story was a little bit more faster paced. Uh, I know some people don't like the religious aspect that they throw into the movie, but it doesn't focus on religion. The movie is really a murder thriller uh, type of film, and uh, yeah, I like that. I thought it was uh, it was really cool, and I love Ian, Ewan McGregor in this movie also. Uh, I think it, it gets a lot more hate than it deserves, uh, because I don't think it's a bad movie at all. I think it's a pretty cool movie, uh, but that's just me. I know I'm, I'm one of the few on that one. So, moving on to my number nine favorite film, I have Saving Mr. Banks. I love this movie. Uh, this is the true story about how Walt Disney, who Tom Hanks plays in this movie, uh, gets the rights to Mary Poppins. A lot of my favorite movies based on true stories are usually stories on how popular, iconic things come to be. And Saving Mr. Banks is one of my favorite ones, definitely. Uh, because uh, I, I'm always curious about the life of Walt Disney and who he was as a person. And um, when a movie, fo there's not too many. I know there was a, a movie out there that did kind of focus a little bit on him, uh, on another person's life who, who worked for Walt Disney. Uh, but this is the only one that I know that had a pretty good budget and was released theatrically uh, that, that told a story that involved him. Uh, and Emma Thomas, uh, Emma Thompson is great in this movie as well as the, the novelist of Mary Poppins. Uh, yeah, it's a really great movie and I, re I totally recommend it to anybody who hasn't seen it. it, I, I, it this is a movie that brings tears to my eyes towards the end of the movie. It's a really heartwarming film. Uh, I know that the, the movie strays away a little bit from the true story. Like I think in real life the, the, the woman who... Uh, wrote the books for Mary Poppins, wasn't happy uh, about the whole situation that went down, but uh, I, as a movie, I'm judging this as a movie, I think the movie was entertaining and, and heartwarming. So, moving on to number eight, I have The Green Mile. Uh, this is another great Tom Hanks movie, and probably one that a lot of people are probably going to be surprised that it's at number eight on my list, and uh, yeah, what can I say? I, Tom Hanks, for me, has done a lot of great things. I really do like this movie a lot. But it did kind of remind me a little bit of the Shawshank Redemption, which I think is an even better film. Um, before, I, I know this movie is also based, I believe, on a Stephen King novel. Uh, maybe. I might be getting my facts wrong on that. But look, I, I really like Tom Hanks in the role and the supporting cast. Uh, he... he got to play with. I think Sam Rockwell was in this movie, as well as Michael Clark Duncan, the late Michael Clark Duncan. Uh, yeah, this is a great movie uh, that takes place in a prison, and the brutality of, of prisons, and uh, it was just a great story uh, there also, and great relationships. 
about this police officer. You know, Tom Hanks plays one of the, not a police officer, he plays a, well, I guess one of the, the prison uh, guards in the, in the film. And uh, to see uh, what he goes through in that movie, because I think he gets like cancer or something in the movie. It's been a while since I've seen the movie, but I, I remember um, really liking it. It's a very emo another emotional film. And I think that's what Tom Hanks likes to do to us. He likes to do these, do these emotional films that get us crying towards the end. He's, he's really good at that, picking those type of movies. Uh, number seven, I have Forrest Gump. Uh, this is the movie that won the Academy Award uh, over Shawshank Redemption. Uh, I love Forrest Gump. I think it's a great movie. Uh, obviously, a lot of iconic lines and scenes from that film. Uh, now, the question that a lot of people always ask is, did it deserve to beat uh, Shawshank Redemption that year at the Academy Awards? I'll say maybe Shawshank Redemption should have gotten it. I'll, I'll, I'll lean on that side, but I don't think... That should dismiss this movie as not being a great movie. I think this still is a great movie, and there is a reason why the Academy that year decided to give it to this movie. Um, they, they, were, they were two great movies. Uh, yes, one was a little bit better, but that doesn't mean this one doesn't deserve, deserve some love, uh, too. So, hey, can't be beggars, can't be choosers, or something like that. So, anyways, moving on to number six, I have Saving Private Ryan. Another movie that a lot of people are going to be probably thinking, really, David? Number six? This movie is that low? Look, if six is low to you, I don't know what to say. Uh, yes, I, I really do love Saving Private Ryan. Uh, Tom Hanks leads a, a group of people to go and rescue a... a uh, Ryan, <laughs> uh, from, from, uh, because his, his, he's the last of, uh, three brothers, I believe, uh, two of them were already killed in action, and, uh, because he's the last son, uh, they have to go and rescue him and bring him back home, uh, so that way his, uh, family can at least have that one son left. Uh, I think it was something like that, anyways, I, I might be getting mixed up, uh, but someone will correct me if I'm wrong, and uh, yeah, it was a great movie, uh, the action, obviously, is, it's not based on it, this is like real war uh, action, so it's not easy to watch, but if you understand war and, and uh, the complications that people have to go through, uh, I, Steven Spielberg obviously directed this film, I, I think he did four movies with Tom Hanks together, uh, yeah, this was a really good one, and I just realized this is the second movie on my list that has Saving in the title. Uh, we got Saving Mr. Banks now and Saving Private Ryan, both in my top ten. Uh, moving on to number five, I have Catch Me If You Can. I didn't watch this movie when it originally came out. I actually watched this maybe sometime after 2010, um, and... I, yeah, I, I'll admit, I, I'm sad that I didn't catch this one a lot sooner uh, until I did. Uh, this is a great movie. Leonardo DiCaprio is obviously the main character uh, who is committing a, a crime or two, maybe, in this movie. And Tom Hanks is the guy that's going after him because he really he's on this case on bringing this guy down. Uh, it's a great movie. I love it. And uh, Spielberg... Uh, Okay, he, Spielberg has had his misses, but obviously with Tom Hanks, there's something special there. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I even like The Terminal. The Terminal is not on my list, but it is a movie I enjoyed. Uh, not a, like It's not my favorite movie ever, but it, I, I see the, the funny in it, and uh, I know a lot of people shit on that one, which I'm, I'm kind of disappointed with that. I, I think it's a good Tom Hanks uh, I think Catherine Zeta-Jones is in that movie, too. And uh, Spielberg did a pretty good job with a romantic comedy. What do you want? You guys, at least he's versatile in what he directs. Anyways, moving on, I have Toy Story 2 at number 4. Um, yeah, Toy Story 2. I love Toy Story 2. Uh, I think it's a great movie about Woody uh, and learning more about his character and seeing his journey go on. And... Um, I'll leave it at that for now. Uh, let's move on to number three. I have Captain Phillips. This is such an intense movie. I remember watching it for the first time, uh, and I loved it all the way through. It was a 
a great ride to be on, uh, based on a true story about uh, the ship that was taken over. And I'm not going to say fun. I, I think I was about to say this was a fun movie. It wasn't a fun movie. It was a thriller movie that had me on the edge of my seat wondering, how are these people going to get out of this? And uh, I, I thought it was a great film all the way around. Um, I don't remember what year it was nominated for. I know it was nominated for Best Picture, but didn't win. It might have been the same year as 12 Years a Slave. I can't remember right now. But yeah, this, this was I wouldn't have mind this movie winning either because it was like, wow. Um, moving on to number two. Here we go. Cast Away. I remember when this movie came out. This was this came out around the time of Survivor uh, coming onto the airwaves. Survivor had hit not too long ago. I, th I think it was er this year, uh, that year. Uh, and so Castaway was coming out also. And I think the hype of Survivor... People forget, when Survivor f was first on television, uh, it was a huge phenomenon hit. Uh, I, I was obsessed with Survivor when that first show first started. I know it's still on the air now, but I haven't watched Survivor in ages now because to me it's like, yay, yeah, you've seen a couple of seasons, you've seen them all. Um, and uh, Castaway was like, a, now we got a movie about a guy stuck on an island, this is going to be awesome. And Tom Hanks throughout the entire movie is pretty much just him and a volleyball. And uh, to see what he's able to do and to see how he has to survive and then eventually his way to get back home uh, it, it was a really great movie, great storytelling with like limited amount of people and showing that you can, anybody can make a movie, I think, if they, they really find a, you can make a movie about the simplest thing and, and have one man who's really talented carry this movie all the way through with a volleyball. I mean, that's the co-star, the real co-star of Castaway was a freaking volleyball. Think about that. Um, yeah, it's such a great movie. One of my all-time favorites. Uh, Castaway is... Uh, love it. Love it. Robert Zemeckis, he, he, he's such a fantastic director. And, uh, man, can you imagine... I'm sure there are a lot of other actors that could probably have pulled this off, but I'm glad it was Tom Hanks, man. He, he's just so lovable. And to see him in... To see how what he did in this movie... Um, it was just so great. So moving on to my number one favorite uh, Tom Hanks movie of all time is Toy Story 3. That's right. I uh, Toy Story 3 is on the top of my list. Now some people, let me get this out of the way first. Some people are going to probably wonder, wait a minute, David, where's Toy Story 1? You had Toy Story 2 on this list. You don't have Toy Story 1. I'm going to admit this. Toy Story 1, I, I, I like a lot. Uh, it, it was close to making my top 10. But not close enough. Uh, I think it's a little overrated sometimes uh, because I do think Toy Story 2 and Toy Story 3 are superior films, uh, especially Toy Story 3. That's why I have it at number one. Uh, this movie, I just watched it again last night and I cried my eyes out. It always hurt. It always hits me. That ending, man, the last maybe 20 minutes or so, such an emotional movie. That scene where the characters are going into the inferno and it looks like they're about to end. I still remember the chills I got when I was in theaters watching this movie. I actually thought Pixar had gone crazy at that point and thought that they were going to kill the toys from Toy Story. I thought these, these guys are going to kill these lovable characters that kids have grown up to love and kids are still watching today. They're going to kill them right on the big screen. But no, that did not happen. They surprised us at turns here and there throughout the film. And, man, if you do not cry at this movie, either you're too young to understand and you're not at that age yet, or uh, you don't have a heart. That's, that's all I can say. Uh, with that being said, that's my list, guys. That's my list of my favorite Tom Hanks movies. Uh, not from worst to best, just from least best. You know what? I'm just going to call it my top ten Tom Hanks movies. So there you go. That's my top ten. Uh, leave down your top ten in the comment section below. Like this video, please subscribe to my channel, and until next time, take care.